Hey everybody, jmaco 516 here, back with another review. This time, as promised, is part two of the Transformers Creo 75 piece 7.99 at Walmart Bumblebee. You know, at first I wasn't too fond of this guy, but he does actually look pretty cool. He's pretty well proportionate. Looks nice, very smooth, sleek, you know, looks good, actually. Um, he does have these black stripes up on the top, this nice uh, red Autobot insignia, and then the stripes from here do continue back on to the back of the spoiler there. Very nice front bumper there with the grill. The bumper looks pretty good. You can definitely tell that what it's supposed to be, so it does the job. Around to the back, he's got these two um, tail lights with the Bumblebee license plate there in the middle, which that is also just a sticker. He's got these nice yellow hubcaps, which say Oxford on the tires. These tires are plastic. I do wish that instead they were um, rubber tires, but can't complain too much. Nice little 360. It looks pretty cool. You roll them over there. Very solid. He's durable. You know, you can the tires do roll very nicely. Very cool. With clear windshields on the both the front and the back. Mostly yellow as we all know Bumblebee to be. Hence his name. Black on the bottom here. Pretty solid looking. A few little gaps, but not too bad. I would give this vehicle mode probably a 7.5 to 8, maybe, out of 10. It's very cool. He's just a lot more proportionate than the Optimus Prime one is. Um, also, we we'll set him down right there. He does come with a few extra parts. One, of course, being the head. And then does have the two leg and foot pieces which you know are on the ball joint so they bend. There's just nowhere to put these on him. So at least I haven't figured out. If if you figured it out and got this figure, you know, let me know where we can hide those at. And then other pieces are these four little elbow joints that he uses in for his robot mode. And then this one piece, which just has the four by two, and then the two by one, which you just place anywhere, you know. And then you can put pieces back behind it, which this helps out in his robot mode. And then also he does have two of these clear little, like, light pieces. Um, I, I guess they're just like lights for when he's in his robot mode. But anyway, to uh, be able to hide these pieces, it's not that difficult. So what you want to do is just come to the bottom of him, take the one pieces, make sure these pieces, the little joint part is at the front of the vehicle, or facing towards the front, and then with the ones back here, face those towards the back. And just to show uh, that does not hinder the wheels at all, so it does still roll rather nicely like that. And then to get rid of these pieces, pop the whole back section off, take the little license plate off, take this piece here, and then just set it on there like that. Take the license plate, put it on there, just at the the top of this piece, and then take these. Which I, I dropped one of them. I don't I don't know where it rolled off to, but staying early, I'd put one over here and then one on the other side, and then just reattach that whole section. Sometimes this little piece does pop off, but. Now the new back end, you know, it doesn't look too bad. He's kind of got like, these could be like little exhaust pieces here at the bottom. 
and then he, of course he does have the added other lights right there so it looks pretty cool like I said 7.5 to 8 out of 10 is what I would give this guy I do recommend him at uh, first like I said uh, one too fond of this but he's better proportion than than the Optimus Prime one you know Optimus Prime is just skinny and tall and, and long but Bumblebee looks pretty good all around just a little size comparison going from the back Optimus is a little longer but from the front Bumblebee is almost twice as wide as Optimus so he just looks better proportioned anyway not too bad but this has been uh, part two of the Creo 75 piece 799 Bumblebee let me know what you guys think comments welcome as always um, thanks for watching JMAC 516